My name is Ming Xie. I'm the Portfolio Manager for Worldwide Commercial Desktop at Lenovo. The Think Center Tiny is not just immensely small for innovation's sake. It offers customers freedom of deployment, meaning that they can actually place Tiny almost anywhere. And we saw how customers were creating a, a semi-all-in-one experience. A lot of customers like the simplicity of the idea of an all-in-one type product. However, with an all-in-one, every time you refresh the CPU, it basically forces you to refresh the monitor as well, a higher cost uh, proposition. With Tiny in One, everything is modular. For example, I can have somebody who maybe does a lot of email, a lot of spreadsheets, who may not need all of the horsepower, and I can install the ThinkCenter M53 inside with the Batril D that allows for great light task performance that's also very budget friendly. But then for the person next to them who could be doing light engineering or design work, I can give them a much higher powered uh, chipset, maybe the Q85 or the Q87 with a high-end Core i7 processor. And essentially, I don't have to pay for performance that I don't need. With the Think Center Tiny in One, a physical mechanism locks the Tiny in place. If you don't want your data out and exposed, you can just take the Tiny, remove it from the back of the Tiny in One, lock it in a drawer, and then go home and not have to worry about it. So by making the setup and deployment process near instantaneous, we were really able to satisfy our customers and essentially put their resources to better use. I think if I were to summarize the Think Center Tiny in One, the words I would choose are easy, manageable, and secure. When your desktop talks to you, when it listens, when it paves the way to the experience of a new kind of connection, is it still a desktop? Unlike anything that came before, the HP Pavilion Wave is the embodiment of do-everything performance, amplified by scientifically advanced sound design in the most radical reinvention of a desktop ever dared. Performance is driven by top-end Intel Core processors, making this an uncommonly capable device that everyone at home can use for absolutely anything. Browsing and shopping, to social media and productivity apps, to video and image editing. There is also an optional discrete graphics card for powerhouse graphics with all the visual impact users today are looking for. Without compromising the desktop specs, we made it small and light enough to move from room to room. It's also got all the connectivity you need to make it work with anything you want it to. Front-facing USB and audio jack, along with USB 3.0, USB 3.1 Type-C, an HDMI port, and an SD card reader in the rear. Strategically placed microphones precisely leverage its ability to listen to commands and queries through Cortana. Moreover, it delivers razor clarity for video conferencing and Skype calling. To make it a streaming media machine was a defining part of our mission. And audio is such an integral part of that experience. With reflective, multi-directional audio, custom tuned in collaboration with experts at B&L Play, we architected a driver that propels sound through the small form factor tower, sending it out with volume, range, and substance that can rule a whole room. The woven fabric skin, the speaker stem, in the triangular form. Every feature designed to move it beyond a mere desktop to a higher functioning home computer.
This is the ASUS Vivo PCX. With it, you can explore the new frontiers of virtual reality. First and foremost, the Vivo PCX has the power needed for Oculus 5 and other VR systems. A 7th generation Intel Core i5 processor provides a strong baseline for all of the latest VR games. The NVIDIA GTX 1060 handles much of the heavy lifting. It uses a new Pascal architecture that dramatically improves performance from the 900 series video cards. The RAM and storage specs meet the intense demands of VR2. All of these parts come together to deliver top-notch performance, and not only for games. Video editing and day-to-day -day productivity are just as smooth and enjoyable on the Vivo PCX. One of the major bottlenecks for VR is a lack of inputs. Additional displays and peripherals are part and parcel with the experience, and the Vivo PCX has been built with this in mind. Every plug you could possibly need is on the back. Starting with displays, there are three inputs to pick from. Two HDMI ports let you plug in your VR headset and your monitor at the same time. If you have a higher-end monitor, a DisplayPort input is available, complete with NVIDIA G-Sync support to minimize tearing. Four USB 3 ports give plenty of room for VR headsets, motion sensors, and controllers to be plugged in. Two more standard USB ports accommodate any extra peripherals. Virtual reality can require more room to move around than a standard office environment allows. That's why the Vivo PCX has been designed with a low profile. It can seamlessly fit into your living room and look great. Sometimes you may want to bring the rig over to your friend's place so they can try out VR too. Not only is the Vivo PCX small enough to easily fit in your bag, it's plenty light too. It's been tested for vibration, drops, temperature, and humidity, so you can count on it handling the ride just fine. Though it's quite compact, a smart ventilation system keeps everything cool. A copper pipe draws heat away from the CPU towards an axial fan. This draws cool air in from the larger side face, then out through the short edge exhausts. You'll be blown away by the range of experiences available. There's plenty of games to play, but there's also 360 degree movies to enjoy, virtual tourism, and all sorts of new media that will defy definition. That's the ASUS Vivo PCX. It's the perfect choice for taking your first steps into virtual reality. Visit asus.com to learn more.